In this illustration, uh, we will study about the energy evolved in a cannon shot. Here, uh, the figure shows a cannon of mass 3 m loaded with a shell of mass m. It is saying that the barrel of cannon is at an angle theta to horizontal, and if the shot is fired at a muzzle speed u, we are required to find the energy evolved during shot if a whole energy is considered to be consumed as kinetic energy of cannon and shot. Now, in this situation here we can see if we redraw the figure and analyze the situation if this is the cannon and if a cannon fires a shot which is of mass m, then here we can see this m mass is fired say at a speed u and due to which the cannon recoils with a speed v. Then we can say this u would be with respect to the barrel as we are given that the shot is fired at a muzzle speed u. Then in this situation the horizontal velocity of ball we can write as u cos theta minus v because it will also be having the opposite velocity v and in upward component the ball velocity can be written as u sin theta. Now, in this situation we can say by conservation of momentum, we use 3 m v which is the momentum in this cannon toward left must be equal to the momentum of shell which is m times u cos theta minus v because the net momentum of the system must be 0. So, in this situation we are getting the relation in the velocity of cannon and the muzzle speed which is v is equals to u cos theta divided by 4. Now, if we wish to calculate the total energy evolved during shot that will be the total kinetic energy of the system. So, we can write total kinetic energy after shot is this energy E we can write for cannon it is half 3 m multiplied by 1 by 4 u cos theta whole square plus the kinetic energy of the shot is half m multiplied by this will be u sin theta square plus it is u cos theta minus v whole square. Here we can substitute the value of v which is u cos theta by 4. So, on simplifying this gives us E is equals to if we square this term this will give us 3 by 32 m u square cos square theta plus here it will be half m u square and this term will become this as sin square theta plus if we substitute the value of v as 1 by 4 u cos theta this will be 3 by 4 u cos theta. So, this will be 9 by 16 cos square theta. Now, in this relation further on simplifying we will get the value of e as 3 by 32 m u square cos square theta plus here we can take the 16 common out. So, this will become 1 by 32 m u square multiplied by this is 9 plus 7 sin square theta. And finally, on simplifying this I am writing the final result after simplification this will give us 1 by 8 m u square multiplied by 3 plus sin square theta. This is the final result of this problem.